Well, the all-round abilities of Ishan Sharma sees Delhi get at least close to 150. <laughs> Strange call to see Ravindra Jadeja bowl the last over of the innings, but it, uh, if you were Chennai and you had to uh, chase 148, don't know if Ms. Dhoni would mind that or not. 147 for 9, wickets kept falling. They didn't go through a 3-over phase without losing a wicket, did uh, Delhi in this innings. Rishabh Pant top scoring with 38. Colin Munro sent above him today with a quick fire 27, but the Chennai bowlers kept it tight. Uh, but it's still looking like it wouldn't get anywhere near 147. That happened at the end courtesy Amit Mishra and Ishan Sharma with a few strikes. Is that enough? Will that be enough? Uh, ESPN took in for match JD20 at our halftime show with Daniel Vittori and Ajit Agarkar. 147. If you were MS at the start of the innings, would you take that? I think so. Yes. I think so. Anything yeah. under 150, you'd take it uh, after having put the opposition in. You don't quite. It's not. It, it probably looks like a better pitch than it was the other night. Uh, it's definitely given Delhi something to bowl at. Yeah. Uh, that last over, maybe the last two or three overs, last they got two, some yeah. runs. Uh, otherwise, they were well shot. So, yeah, interesting score, a tricky score, but I think uh, Chennai would have been happy to take that at the start. You know, 28 of the last two points Ajit makes. We've spoken so many times in IPL games, just the feel of the last over and how that sometimes translates into the second innings. It translates into that first over, I think. Yeah. So that momentum that, that Delhi perceived they have and just taking a little bit out of um, Chennai's sales. Because I think whilst Chennai and Emma would be happy with 150, before those last two overs, I think they would have been looking at 130. So mm. it changes a little bit and Delhi will walk out there a little happier than, than they may have anticipated. Yeah. Um, but I think the power play is going to decide a lot. If they can pick up wickets early on, put some pressure on that yeah. Chennai middle order, um, then that could make a difference. Right, but, oh, right Daniel Vittori, <laughs> how many 20th overs have you bowled in your T20 career? You bowled a few. Plenty. They've, they've, uh, gone, they've gone in a similar vein to Yeah, <laughs> left arm spinner last over. What did you make of that? Well, uh, look, first I, explain why they've gone with it and whether you agree or disagree. Well, I think two right-handed batsmen yeah. and they thought the wicket would hold up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But they haven't done their research on Trent Bolt. Trent Bolt's the best player of spin in, in world cricket. Because he, <laughs> he's so excited not to face That's fast bowling. Understanding it, yeah. <laughs> so excited not to face fast bowling that he gets he gets so, he does so well against spin. And he actually does hit, hit it well. And I think because of all that, you, you're just trying to hit spin at the end. And so you've got a, a license to do it. And more often than not, you only need to hit two balls, possibly yeah. three. And all of a sudden the runs get up pretty quickly and that's what happened today. Whilst they got a wicket, it was two sixes and a four and that's yeah. probably more than you would like from that in that, in that situation. And that yeah, coming from 9, 10, 11 or 10, 11, 16 and even the ball, trend ball got out on, could yeah. have actually gone. Yeah, I mean, why you understand there are two right-handers and maybe this pitch is, uh, you know, holding up a little bit. Uh, smallish ground, it's probably an easier bowler to hit. Uh, you know, I, I guess it goes on captain's gut. Uh, on, on, the, on the particular night and MS Dhoni is really good at that just to get the feel of the game at that particular point but yeah, I, I mean, I think the safer option would have been to go with a seamer. Yeah. Arvind uh, Shenoy asking exactly that. Did Dhoni take a gamble by bowling Ravindra Jadeja? Uh, you're saying instead of Bravo, Bravo had actually bowled out. Shardul Thakur was the only other seam option that he had. Uh, Alok says Jadeja should have completed his four-over quota earlier. It's uh, beyond my understanding why he didn't do so. Left -handers. I think Pan there. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Jadeja is uh, usually, some, sometimes struggles and it's a tough tough place to bowl as well when someone like Pant is set, uh, you don't want to take that chance, the others were doing okay. Uh, it's one of those things, I think there was still a seamers over left, so uh, it's a gamble and it's not quite come off uh, on the night. We'll find out whether it uh, that's cost them the game, uh, not yet, I don't think they'll have enough. But uh, but it's certainly given Delhi a yeah, You, you Delhi would a feel nice very feeling. good as a seamer. You got into the side for a batsman, you get one over, you don't even get the last over to 9, 10, 11. Yeah, but I think I think that <laughs> happens in a T20 game. I All don't right. think... I mean, you'd want to contribute, but those it, it depends on how the game goes at that particular point. I, I don't think he's been playing a lot either, Shardul Thakur. So, uh, no, I, I don't... I don't think it would necessarily uh, sort of affect him in any way. It's, uh, I think it would still be a better move to go with a seamer. Okay, Alvin D'Souza has uh, just said another CSK Mumbai final. So he's going, he's leaving, he's turning the TV <laughs> off. Right now, doesn't want to watch anything more. Uh, Gaurav Shresh says Zishan's 10 can be very handy. This could be a close game. Mohamed Uzair says Delhi Capitals don't lose hope. It's a slow pitch. Delhi can defend this, says uh, Gaurav as well. Does, is 147 at least something to bowl at? It is something to bowl at, yeah. and I think we saw that in, in the last game, Delhi um, Sunrises, where it was something to bowl at. Yeah. You know, they scored a few more, but look, I think Chennai will still feel like job done in a lot of ways. I think any time you bowl a team out for 
restrict them to under 150, then you feel like you have a chance. But like I said before, I think there's power play, there's a few under pressure Chennai batsmen. Um, if they're going to leave it all in Dhoni's hands again, then that's a lot to ask of them. So yeah. they'll want Faf and Watson to give them something in this yeah. game. Uh, Pratik says, uh, are Delhi a spinner short? Could have probably gone for another one. So it's always hard to fit in. I think Delhi are comfortable with that. Kimo Paul will fulfill a role in a way in terms mm. of taking a lot of pace off the ball. Um, and being able to utilise that pitch. So Mishra and Aksar Patel are incredibly important, particularly Mishra if he bowls like he did in the previous game. And then if they hand it on to Kimo Paul, um, Trent Bolt, um, I think I think those guys can do a job. Even Shafane Rutherford may may come in handy as well. Yeah, Nintu Jatin Roy says, this pitch does not look good for batting. It's not worthy of an IPL playoff game. Would you agree with that? It's better than a Chennai pitch. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, no, I don't think it's such a bad pitch. I think... Uh, if Delhi had batted better, they would have got that 160, 165, somewhere there. I think uh, they're stuck in, their top orders let them down. Yeah. Uh, you know, the lower half, I mean, uh, Pant uh, included, has had to do a bit of work for them to get to that total. And there's last couple of overs, obviously. But yeah. No, I don't think it's a bad pitch. It's, it's obviously slow. Uh, and what they played a day before at the same venue, so sometimes you can expect that with all the heat around. Uh, in May, pitches do t tend to become slower as the tournament progresses all over India. Uh, so, uh, no, I, but I don't think it's a bad way to do Okay, Kevin Shuk, please answer this. What is with Rishabh Pant and one-handed slogs? He, he says that the bat slips from his hand, but how does it happen every time? Dan? Um, I don't, I'm not sure it's slipping from... I think he's just getting, he's getting done in the air in terms of off or off the wicket. Because he goes so hard at the ball, so aggressive, if it slightly holds up, he still commits the shot yeah. and puts so much power into it yeah. that he actually releases his top hand, uh, bottom hand. And I think probably enables him to continue and allow himself to stay on the shot because if he held on to that then he may not have that follow through so in a lot of ways it, it might be assisting Still him. Still clears it. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Mm. Okay, uh, well Harbhajan Singh was uh, reached a milestone today. Let's just have a look at uh, the club of 150 wickets in the IPL that he's gotten into. He joins Amit Mishra who's going to have a bowl in a bit. Dwayne Bravo is just three short and of course we know Lasit Malinga is the most prolific bowler in IPL history and he could add to that in the final. So well done to Harbhajan Singh. It's, it's, I mean, this may or may not, this may go Chennai's where they may get another game, but what a season for Harbhajan Singh. The amount that he, I thought he wouldn't get a game or let alone may not sort of be picked even or... You know, yeah, retain. I was surprised when they retained him actually. Yeah. I, I, I mean, doesn't play a lot of cricket through the year, yeah. obviously. So uh, I wasn't quite sure whether the Chennai is going to retain him or whether he's played his last IPL. Uh, in 2018, but again, great performance. Obviously, there have been wickets would have helped him in Chennai, but he's bowled really well. And again, tough venue to bowl at. Even though the pitch is slow, it's uh, it's a smallish uh, ground, so can be tough. Ka, uh, some important wickets yeah. in that spell. Uh, Shikhar and uh, Kimo Paul. No, yes. sorry, uh, Rutherford. Rutherford. Sorry, yeah. Rutherford. Uh, when he looked yeah. start to start going, he's bowled. A yeah. lot of balls to left-handers yeah. in this tournament, yeah. I think, and that's the way they've utilised them. And because there's so many key left-handed batsmen, I think that's set up well for what Chennai's trying, what Chennai's trying to do. And I just right, the wicket helped them. Hmm. But I think it'd be interesting to see his breakdown of how many, not just the wickets, but how many balls he's bowled to left-handers yeah. versus right-handers. Sure. sure. Uh, Pratik Gurugai says, Shaw should look at his uh, under-19 partner in Shubman Gill. Gill sometimes looks like he's played years of international cricket with the short selection and maturity he shows. Different styles of batting, I suppose. A uh, little bit harsh on Shaw as well. I mean, I, frankly, I should do a bit more with the amount of ability and yeah. talent that he has. But everyone, uh, you know, works it out in a different way. I think he's, he's still had runs in this tournament. Yes. Uh, it's, it's not been... Yeah, he's, he's one of those guys, again, you know, when he gets out, it's actually going to look worse than uh, mm. it's supposed to be with the style that he approaches his innings. Yeah, but yeah, I kind of agree. Halfway yeah. there that he should do a bit more. Uh, now, he's no more an inexperienced guy. He's been around for a while. Yeah. Now, uh, what follows the IPL is the World Cup. It's going to be in England and there are some lovely sights and sounds of the UK that we have been showing you over the last week or so. It's this time, it's time to look at Manchester. Here's more with Visit Britain.
Always, always end with the food. Eventually, we did get there to a ground that you've uh, watched some football in, Old Trafford. In the best, best ground in Manchester. Yeah, we went, we, went, we started with uh, the Etihad Stadium, we went to the Cricket Old Trafford and then we finally ended there. Yeah, but the Cricket Old Trafford is a beautiful ground. Yeah. I quite enjoyed playing there. Yeah. The pitch has a little bit of pace there. Mm. Uh, so it's quite nice, uh, nice venue to bowl. And you've always been an ardent Man United fan, so there's a connection to Manchester any which way. I know, it is. Nice place to go like, out. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's plenty. I mean, I've stuck to cricket and just focused on cricket, but... Of course you have. And the odd <laughs> football. Dan, Manchester? Memories? No, not for football. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a, a no. mercy side man. Yeah. Uh, it's a great place to play cricket. It's yeah, the yeah. best wicket to bowl on, I think it is. That pace and bounce. But... Um, no, it's a, it's a fun place. So like, like like most of England, you can you can go there, have a great time, lots of lots of great restaurants, and yeah. have a lot of fun. Nothing greater than India Pakistan yeah. to just stop it up, and that's exactly what's going to happen in a couple of months, where uh, you're going to have uh, the Asian Giants collide at Old Trafford. Right on our way out, quick prediction with uh, Dan and Ajit. One, four, eight. Yes or no? Delhi, Chennai. You'd have to back Chennai at this yeah. stage. I'm not putting past uh, Delhi winning this though, mm. from what we've seen in that first game here, but. Uh, you have to back Chennai at this stage. Daniel? <laughs> you love these, don't you? Yeah, they're all so close. I mean, that's, yeah. what, that's why we're here in this time of the year with these two good teams. So, I, th I think Chennai should sneak through, but I've got most of them wrong, so... <laughs> <laughs> or I know. I'm sure, I'm sure that helps. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, many thanks to Dan Vittori and Ajit Agarkar. We'll get their thoughts at the end of the game. On our way out, more recites and sounds of the IPL series that we've said goodbye to one by one. There's more on uh, Kolkata with uh, On The Road, presented by Maruti Suzuki. Those days, people from all walks of life, they come and watch the match. Leisurely, they don't have that rush for anything. Watch the game. And we used to wait. Now the introduction of T20 and 50 overs cricket and all these things, 75 onwards we are watching World Cup. The changes is good. This is a bat which has been signed by Sir Frank Warrell here. Wow. It's 52 years old. Oh my God! The wow. highlight here is you have five knighted cricketers today. 